dying woman was raped and murdered by her obsessed uncle after he decided if he couldn't have her, nobody else would, a court heard. Selen Bukhran, 20, was allegedly kidnapped by her relative Mujahid Arshad, 33, and his employee Vincent Tapu, 28, before she was raped and had her throat slit in South London. The young woman's body was then stuffed into a freezer while her friend, who cannot be named due to legal reasons, who had also been kidnapped managing to survive. Prosecuting, Chris Vanalit QC told the jury that Arshad had become obsessed with his 20-year-old niece Selen, but realized that she was beyond his clutches due to her relationship with her boyfriend, a Libyan Muslim. He said the accused had plotted to kidnap young Miss Bukran and her friend, telling the jury thereafter, and it is as bizarre as it is terrible, he intended to rape them before murdering them and disposing of their bodies. He considered either putting them in acid in order that their bodies might dissolve or else concealing them in a deep freezer. The Old Bailey was told both men disguised themselves with balaclavas and gloves before bursting into the 20-year-old's room on July 19 last year. Mr. Aylett said the two women had socks stuffed into their mouths. Their mouths were covered in tape. Their hands and feet were tied together. Each of them was wrapped in a builder's dust sheet. Arshad scooped up clothes and phones to give the entirely false impression Miss Bukran had run away, it was claimed. Tapu played no further part, jurors were told. Arshad is accused of taking the women to a one pound. Five meters property in Kingston on Thames, where he had been working at as a builder, raping both of them. It is there he is accused of cutting Selen's throat and allowing her to die before stuffing her body in the freezer and locking it. The court heard Arsha then took the second woman, in her 20s, upstairs and cut her throat, telling her she would be dead within 10 minutes. He added, it must have been the defendant's intention to murder both women and to conceal their bodies in the deep freezer of an unoccupied house. That way, it might be many, many months before anyone thought to open the freezer that had been put in the kitchen of that house. But instead, the young woman managed to survive, alerting police who were then able to find the home and Selen's body. Arshad, of no fixed address, denies murder, attempted murder, two counts of kidnap, two counts of rape, two counts of conspiracy to falsely imprison another, possessing a firearm with intent to taser. He also denies one count of sexual assault and one count of assault by penetration involving the second woman between November 2008 and November 2010. Tapu, of Acton, West London, denies two counts of kidnap, two counts of conspiracy to falsely imprison another, and one count of possessing a firearm with intent. We pay for your stories. Do you have a story for the Sun online news team? Email us at tips at the sun.